my subscribers, I know, I gotta admit. In my last review video about Daymoyas, I told you guys that this will be my last custom build review for the current month. But I just love reviewing things so much, hence I've told to myself, come on, fight it, just one more, let's do it. This being said, my subscribers, also this review here will only contain Nexus graphics power outperformance result and productivity power outperformance result. Its position and everything else will be revealed at the end of this month, including the benchmark results of FoxOS version 1.0.5, since a lot of the World of PC subscribers and followers have already asked me which is better. Well then, stay tuned and make sure to frequently check my Rumble channel and my YouTube channel too. Back then, when I informed the World of PC about his very good benchmark results regarding one of his latest Windows 10 custom builds called Nexus Lite OS 10 LTSB, which is based on Windows 10 Enterprise 2016 LTSB 1607, he started to think about creating a 1709 based Windows 10 custom build that can compete with Record 0.4 but without even sacrificing the compatibility, to quote the World of PC. Because, as my subscribers already know, RecOS is the most powerful Windows 10 custom build for the time being that easily knocks out every other Windows 10 custom build ever made, but its software and hardware compatibility is one of the worst among all the roundabout 80 custom builds in total that I've ever tested on my low-end laptop and on my low-end desktop gaming PC. Basically, there isn't even a single week on my channel without comments by my friendly subscribers asking me for help regarding RecOS. And if we are now going to compare Nexus Lite OS 10 17.09 system behavior during use with RecOS system behavior during use, the facts and figures are more than clear. And the world of PC has truly kept his promise. Nexus Lite OS 10 17.09 is, in terms of general outperformance, truly a worthy opponent in regard to RecOS, and its software and hardware compatibility is compared to RecOS a difference like day and night. As a side note and little sneak peek at this point only for my subscribers, Nexus Lite OS 10 17.09 software and hardware compatibility is also noticeably better than FoxOS compatibility. Check this. Heads off at this point. Very well done and good job, the world of PC. I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. Felt like this is just a must. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. We know I ain't balling yet. Hoes wanna holler. Oh no, I don't call them back. Girl, let me see you. Hold it down. We gon' have a blast. Cause I just wanna know what you're gonna do with all of that. I ain't gotta say a word. I know what's up. You can have it all, watch me rip it all I'll admit it, you got me feeling hella love Even when it's going down, know that we gon' live it up Young shot caller, always been a baller Know that you the one, I can feel it in my heart Yeah, I won't stop charging, we going come harder I can see you and I, way beyond the stars, girl I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl, so
so I can only say that it feels right. It feels right.
As you guys already know, FoxOS 70.09 version 1.0.5, which is dominating the first position on the all-stars low-end laptop leaderboard for month and thus being the most powerful Windows 10 custom built for laptops, has recently also entered the all-stars best of the best Windows 10 custom built low-end desktop gaming PC leaderboard. And so did the World of PC's latest Nexus Lite OS 10 1709 custom build release too. And I absolutely recommend it to my subscribers equipped with weak, respectively old hardware, and who are in search of incredible performance, good software and hardware compatibility, and who don't necessarily need to use a custom build based on a newer version of Windows 10. This being said, I do not recommend it to my subscribers equipped with new hardware and especially not the ones who own NVIDIA RTX graphics cards. And the question why is easy to answer. I generally advise not to use custom builds based on Redstone 3 and below in combination with newer graphics cards such as RTX GPUs, just simply because they cannot be fully utilized on these versions of Windows 10. They require at least Redstone 4 in order to fully unleash their potential. Alright, and which custom builds are now on the poll positions number 1, 2 and 3? Well, my subscribers, the results have been double checked multiple times as always, and the all-stars low-end desktop gaming PC leaderboard is confirmed and will be published on my channel soon, and the question about which one is better will be finally answered. What you gonna do?